in Isaiah, the Bible says uh, in the book of Isaiah, it says the grass may wither, the flower may fade, but the word of our God abideth forever. The Bible says in Colossians 3 verse 10, let the word of God dwell richly in all wisdom. The Bible says in Acts chapter 19 verse 20, so grew mightily the word of God and prevail. So grew mightily the word of God and prevail in Matthew 24 and verse 35. Heaven and earth will pass away but my word will not pass away. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Am I talking to somebody here? Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 4. Where the word of the king is there is power and who can say what doeth thou in the beginning John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 12 was the word and the word was with God and the same was in the beginning with God. All things are made by him. Now the word of God is described as a hymn. Not it as a hymn. All things are made by him. So when you have the word you have life of him you have him the word of God inside you is not it it is him all things are made by him he's talking of the word without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men the light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended it not there was a man sent from God whose name was John he was not the light but he came to be a witness of the light this is that true light that lighteneth every man that cometh to the world he came to his own and his son knew him not the world was made by him but the world knew him not he said but as many as received him to them gave him power to become the sons of God not of the will of the flesh but of the will of the spirit and the world became flesh and dwelt among men and we beheld the glory of the begotten of the father full of grace and of truth I'm talking about him the word is him so when you are addicted to the word anytime you open the bible and you are studying the word you are carrying him into you you are carrying the person of God into you am I communicating here he says it's not my word like a fire it's not my word like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces anytime you are addicted to the word you are making your fire unquenchable you can't have him inside you and be flammable when you have him in you you are unquenchable that thing that drives you into the world wants to keep your fire burning am I speaking to somebody here let me tell somebody be a word addict be a word addict